This is a quiet residential neighborhood in El Monte across from a park where a classic pump around situation would have a negative impact on the community. Here's another view of the two 54 inch pipes, one to the left, one to the right. They're going to be connected by this temporary diversion. And this is a view of the diverters before they're installed on the bypass pipe, steel pipe that we've assembled. As you can see, the inside is wide open. It's got an inflatable rubber bladder on the outside and hydraulic cylinders on the inside to move the flow diverter out into position once the entire unit is lowered into place. You have hydraulic hoses and an inflation rope and hose. As you can see, there's hydraulic hoses at each side to operate the flow diverters. The flow diverters have a rubber cuff around the diverters and the pipe to seal the uh, liquid from coming out between the pipe and the flow diverter. Here is an interior view showing the hydraulic rams. Here the diverter has been lowered into place Notice the blue pulleys at the top where it is suspended from an overhead crane. And the uh, crew is preparing now to hydraulically pump the bladders out into the pipe. Then they will inflate the bladders, sealing off the pipe. Here we're preparing to pump the upstream diverter into place. As you can see, the orange line has separated, indicating the diverter has moved forward. You'll also see that each cylinder is operated independently so the diverter can be steered into place, minimizing the chance of it getting stuck or cocked in the pipe. You'll notice that the diverter slides on the pipe with a rubber cuff um, making a seal between the end of the diverter and the steel bypass pipe and the diverter is sliding into place. Once in place it will be inflated. Here, the upstream diverter is in place, and now we're in placing the downstream diverter. Again, you can see a, the rubber cuff sliding on the uh, steel bypass pipe, and the diverter is being uh, hydraulically pumped into place. Here, we are beginning to inflate the upstream bladder first. Notice to the lower left the flow between the bladder and the pipe and how that will decrease as the bladder is inflated and the flow is diverted through the steel pipe. We can also operate this bladder from a remote location using the yellow 20 foot long inflation rope and hose.
Here, we're finishing up the inflation of the downstream bladder. And uh, as I pan back, you'll notice that there's a much less disruption to the uh, sewage in the uh, pit, which will be pumped out now um, as uh, all the flow has been diverted through the steel bypass tube. After the pit is pumped out, the tie-in can be completed, bringing the 54-inch clay pipe in the lower left-hand corner into the other pipe.